My first reaction to the surroundings here, obviously this is such a beautiful country. Um, we got a really holistic view of how HIV AIDS affects people here in Kenya. Um, just seeing the different communities and, and the ability for them to, to combat HIV and AIDS, as well as all the other issues of, of hunger and poverty. On May 9, 2011, the Canadian Foundation for AIDS Research, CANFAR, and 13 of the Canadian University leaders embarked on an adventure that would prove to be life-changing. The travels took them on a 13-day journey in Ayuki, Kenya to gain a better understanding and knowledge of HIV AIDS, how it is viewed, managed and lived with in another part of the world. One of our service projects is painting some classrooms. We finished up the first one today. The walls are white and there's a beautiful sky blue trim around the windows and the door. Um, so right now we're finishing putting up the walls for our bathroom. The doors are going to go here, so right now we're just leveling everything off so it doesn't fall down. It's really amazing. I mean, you're thinking that you're just like digging, but then you're doing something more. You're building a new bathroom for the girls. This is a nuclear hospital. It's a 220 bent hospital. It cares for all general patients in the region. Do you have hope that HIV AIDS is going to end in your lifetime? That one again depends on the entire world and especially the youth, especially the young people. Here we are at CEDC and it's an orphanage for children who have lost their parents to HIV and AIDS or who currently have parents suffering from the disease. Uh, it's a cool place in the sense that there's a place for them to sleep, there's running water, there's hot showers, there's a school, there's a play area, and all of these things have been donated by people who have spent some time here. What we're doing today is hopefully get to speak to the children who are suffering from HIV and AIDS themselves, learn about the disease and how it's affected them. It's also been a very eye-opening experience. I didn't expect to see some of the things that I did see. For example, um, visiting the slums, just the conditions that they live in are so harsh. I mean, people confiding in us about their HIV status and letting us know what that's like here was just completely mind-boggling. My name is Emilia Okotiano. I'm HIV positive. I live positively the way I am, serving my community. So today we will be going to Old De Niro and um, we'll be talking to a very rural tribe in regards to HIV AIDS and talking to HIV AIDS sufferers and we will be seeing how such a rural tribe can cope with such a devastating disease. The community is saying that one of the most important things to protect the spread of HIV is use of condoms and nutritional support. My key takeaway for surrounding HIV and AIDS, especially here in Africa, is, is the fact that they're not upset and they're not angry and they're, they very much live positively and they live in a manner in which they, they feel that they can beat it. You know, I came here thinking education, prevention, you know, condom use and antiretroviral virals. But it is so much more complex than that. There, you know, there's poverty, there's cultural beliefs. Because I think once you know what's happening, there's no, it's, it's, hard to ignore and, and I think people will take action and, and change their ways and hopefully work together to create change.